so it's the morning of day three um i'm just about to go downstairs and meet with the rest of the team so that we can go to the youth hostel um yeah it's a big day today we get we summit ben nevis and we're a team today so we're doing everything together which is really really important it's really important that everyone gets that team experience and we do as much as a, as a team as we can and then we come off the hill um there's probably going to be lots of emotions today we're tired it's the end of the challenge um but i'm really excited to get out there with the guys and uh bag some Monroe's so I guess we ought to get doing it <laughs> oh yeah Sit start your watch so this is what's known as Heartbreak Hill it's a locker bear yeah. athletics club Natalie, they do reps up here. Imagine. <laughs> imagine. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Oh my. This is why these Scottish athletes are smashing oh my God, yeah. FKTs. So they have hill efforts like this. It's crazy. We're just taking it stone at a time. <laughs> I know I say it so much but this is just the most beautiful part of the world and us doing this if it is around and about and circulated really widely and if it makes one little black child think oh those are people that look like me that are on a mountain then I want to have a go at doing that job done because you know, we say it a lot, but you can't be what you can't see. And the more people of color that feel that these spaces are accessible, that they have the skills, or they learn from people like Elsa, <laughs> what skills they need in order to feel really safe being in these spaces, job done job done we'll see more people enjoying these beautiful beautiful spaces and more representation globally of what the population really looks like We just uh, came up and we were looking out and we were like, oh, it's the edge. But that's not the edge, that's snow. That's snow. So we have to go across. Oh, look, there's people coming down, sliding down the snow. Wow. Look at this. People in snow. Scotland in June. Scotland in June. No. <laughs> Snow in June. What? This is mad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm so genuinely thinking about my life and choices I've made. <laughs> <laughs> and why I'm here.
I've wanted to get to this point for years. It's the only peak of the UK I haven't climbed of the three. And I'm oh, overwhelmed oh. to be oh, yeah. here. Come on, Sam. Come on, let's go. Come on, Sam. Strike your ass up here. What a view. Emotional. Back with hell. Yes. <laughs> Representation matters. It matters. You know, you, I just think that you know, for black children, seeing this, these pictures and, and this, this video, it might make them think, my God, there are people like me on the highest, the highest point in the UK as a team, men and women, and maybe I can do that. others and inspiring the next generation as well. Yeah. So, all rolled into one. Zuki, uh, if you could have anyone up here with you now, who would it be other than us? Uh, just you guys. Just oh, us, no one else. Guys. Probably my daughter. Yeah, yeah man. She's yeah. Like, she's good. But look, she's going to watch this and say, my daddy, my daddy was there. I'm going to go. I know. Hopefully she'll be inspired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll do it, yeah. Bring it up one day. You know, and tell and her all about uh, black trail runners. Of yeah. Course. She knows a little bit, but I'll tell her a bit more. Obviously. And Natalie's going to come back up later with her son. We know that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting to the top of Ben Nevis, the highest point in the UK, as a team was so emotional. The moment felt as huge as the mountain itself. To have six black people together as a team on the summit, showing that the outdoors is for everyone and hopefully inspiring others to follow in our footsteps, as we were with Charlie Ramsey's, was the pinnacle of the tough three days. For Natalie, she had completed her own personal goal for the day. Simba was also nursing a bit of an injury by this point, so the pair of them headed down off the mountain with the Girls on Hills guides, as the rest of us pushed on with the route across some pretty tough terrain along the CM Diaret. Look where we've come from. That's just like, I can't. This is unlike anything I've ever experienced. It's just. Say hi, guys, I'm live. <laughs> Woo! Black trail runners! Black yeah. trail runners! <laughs> wow, this is amazing. So, we're on the fourth 4,000 mountain and we're just looking at where we started on, Monday, on Tuesday, first hill. And we ran all, 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 all of that. And then today we've run up the bend, down across the ridge, up, down here, over here. Oh, it's just, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We're just making the decision now on what we do, whether we continue on to the Grey Corries, which are these ones here. And do these or whether we call it a day so we're going to see how the team feels but it just feels so good to have done the four thousands it just means, it means a lot
So we've just come off the round and we're making our way back to Glen Nevis. We've completed four of the 4,000s and grade one scramble across corn, corn, I can't even say it, but I'm really happy with what we've done. I'm really pleased. Everyone is really happy. And those Monroes that we haven't bagged are a reason to come back. So we're just making our way back now towards Glen Nephis, towards the youth hostel to finish up for the day and have baths, refuel, etc. Yes. The fuel recover. Maybe the, one of our bosses get rid of it. Go again. How are you feeling about seeing the rest of the guys at the end of what's been an epic three days? Excited and can't wait to see how tired that they will be. But very excited to see and that they've got this far. And how does it feel to have finished? wonderful yeah yeah but sad sad because we won't be together tomorrow and we won't be in the mountains again tomorrow so it is very very sad to be fair it was quite an emotional moment as well at the top of ben nevis people. it was yes yes Describe yeah. to me how, how you felt there um i couldn't as lost for words to be fair very lost for words but um then after reflecting it's like yeah this is a very big moment but no, that's for words. Thank you guys. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And you too. Thank you. Come in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. I oh, know. Come in. Oh, thank you. Happy, happy, happy That's the longest turn I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I knew it would be hard, but I didn't know it would be that hard. I'm just immensely proud of the team, of taking on the challenge. You know, it sounded like such a crazy idea when I first mooted it to the co other co-founders first, and then, you know, then launched it in the community, and then did the first Zoom. And it's just, yeah, I'm just, every single one of the team just showed up in their full glory and, and just absolutely nailed what they wanted to nail. And it, and it was just, I'm just so proud and I'm so grateful to have shared space with them this week.